Okay, so I don't really make face cam videos like this where I just kind of sit down and talk to you guys. But with Marvel Spider-Man 2, I think it's time we talk about a few things and clear some things up in regards to the community and in regards to the DLC, okay? So, as you all know, at some point during the New Game Plus uh, update, we got a sort of like menu, dev menu that was left in there that showed off some potential DLC, like it showed some DLC menu, um, like missions for the actual DLC itself, right? Like it had to do with a certain character and that fueled the fire for DLC. With Marvel Spider-Man Remastered uh, released, you know, we've got the City That Never Sleeps DLC pack that, you know, it was great, right? But they announced that from the very start. And uh, lately, Insomniac has spent a long time just kind of reiterating that there's nothing to announce, there's nothing going on, don't get your hopes up. And us as a community, we were all very passionate about Spider-Man, like for sure. The entire community, the content creators, we all you know love this character in general so of course we're gonna you know think that something might happen like especially with the state of plays or you know certain different showcases however all those showcases have come and gone and there's nothing to be seen in regards to Marvel Spider-Man 2 besides the actual um PS5 Pro sort of like next gen up well not next gen update but the ps5 pro update where now you can pretty much play the game at 4k 60 fps they've got their like playstation um sort of upscaling as well technology and now you can just play it at 60 fps at 4k like natively pretty much right however there is no dlc or story dlc whatsoever there's a lot of you know plots that have been left loose like the whole carnage thing with cletus you know we've had the chameleon and there's just things that should be over now we can all probably agree that we don't want to see the symbiote story carry over into marvel spider-man 3 because well you know i think we've all had enough of symbiotes right now i didn't expect the game to go in the direction of a whole symbiote invasion i just thought that we might kind of have a battle against harry and just try to like bring him to the good side i didn't expect the whole you know symbiote invasion type thing especially with the nullities as well with the spirals like i thought that was cool but alas that is what happened however there is potential for a sort of like miles morales-esque sized game where they could have venom as playable because they've had a lot of files um and unused concepts for venom's attacks and things like that and as you saw we did have a section that was playable with venom where you could you know destroy all of like the oscorp sort of military personnel and things like that and we had a whole boss fight against craven as well which was incredible that whole like bit just blew my mind it, that marvel spider-man 2 game was awesome despite everyone thinking you know it's rushed and whatnot i think it was great but you could easily like finish off the whole carnage storyline with the venom game if it's in the same size as miles morales i totally wouldn't mind because if marvel spider-man 3 well marvel spider-man 3 will happen but i think it'll probably come out like a couple of years from now there's no way we're going to be getting it in 2025 or 2026 realistically i think 2027 or 2028 so like three four years from now and that's just being like pretty uh generous with that timeline right and somniacs has always been cooking hard they've always been spoiling us they've always been dropping free suit updates they've been doing a lot of work so i still think there's potential for like free suit drops and things like that however that hack that has happened and all of us content creators do reiterate the hack has done crazy damage now i don't know there could have been dlc plans that have gotten scrapped because of the hack they've they're probably still doing internal investigations trying to figure out what the damage is this could have set the whole timeline back not just for marvels like spider-man 2 or dlc or beyond but also wolverine and other potential games it was pretty devastating as a hack especially for the employees as well that were involved like it's it's a terrible thing and i will never not reiterate that now another thing that the community has been doing is they've been saying oh marvel spider-man 2 is dead and things like that and this isn't a shot and anyone in particular or anything like that but how can a single player game be dead you know with single player games you're just meant to kind of play them and really move on of course you can replay the games i mean i've been playing a lot of days gone um i'm about to play the last of us part one again 
and these games do have replay value but they're not live service games they're not meant to be getting constant updates like you know suicide squad i feel like uh marvel spider-man in general like those lines of games are pretty much an outlier when it comes to getting updates and support because spider-man can always get new dlc suits spider-man can always get updates he can get new things like that but with other characters it's not you know as clear-cut as that in terms of getting updates and it's just one of those things where we're pretty much kind of now just left in the dark when it comes to all of these things and i think that's okay i think as a community we should really lower ex our expectations and i'm guilty as well of making videos about you know this and rumors and things like that as anyone is because i'm very passionate and i'm very excited as we all are you know jeff grubb has made uh lots of predictions for like playstation state of play and that came true that happened on the 24th so there are things that can happen but at the same time <laughs> i think we should kind of hang up the spidey suit and just call it here of course there could be potential for something to be revealed at summer game fest i've reiterated this before this point of um god of war ragnarok getting dlc like a whole year later after this reveal and the creators have actually stated that that game would never get dlc and it happened and it was incredible however you know at the same time we've just gotta keep our expectations in check of course summer game well not summer games fest but the game awards right that's in december that could reveal something for marvel spider-man 2 it's never out of you know question especially with the evidence that we did see however it is best to keep our expectations in check and to just pretty much like lower our expectations to the point where we don't really expect anything but if it does happen it would be a pretty welcome surprise for sure and like i already said insomniac has pretty much stated outright that they've got nothing going on right now in terms of dlc they've got nothing to reveal there's nothing going on and since all the hackers did that damage it's done it's done a lot of just crazy i don't know if it's irreparable damage like i don't think it's repairable but it's going to set plans back like i said so more so what we should be looking forward to now is to supporting marvel Wolverine. like i really hope we can see something like that in terms of like another trailer maybe some gameplay reveals because with the success of Deadpool and Wolverine, there's a lot to look forward to in the future. A potential Venom game as well. Um, it's left pretty open-ended in regards to that. I mean, I think Harry will come back as Venom. Um, obviously, he's in a coma, but as you know, like the Venom symbiote kind of goes into your like whole body and blood and things like that. So, I don't think Venom's out of the question. I mean, Tony Todd was such a good cast back um for venom like i think he's incredible and hopefully we get to see venom actually get fleshed out more beyond we have to take over the world and transform everybody into a symbiote you know that's a bit it's kind of boring not gonna lie to you um i like venom when he's got personality when he's got charm when he's vidi um when he can banter with spider-man you know what i mean like that kind of venom is great and that's the kind of classic Venom that I really would like to see. Now, granted, this is a different, like, iteration. Um, but, yeah, pretty much just Marvel Spider-Man 2 is in a dead game because it's a single-player game, right? DLC might happen, maybe, at some point. Like, who knows? It's never out of the question. But as of the current moment, it's pretty much, like, a dead thing. And we shouldn't really expect more. Granted, keep your eyes open on, you know, the Game Awards on December 12th. There could be something potentially fun happening there. Who knows? They could even announce, like, the Venom game. I mean, they announced the Wolverine game, like, what, like, a couple of years back now? And all we've gotten like, was a trailer since then. So, they could do the same thing with Venom. And that could potentially generate hype and get more funding and things like that. Like, who knows? We've got the 30th anniversary event coming in uh, December as well for PlayStation. As you know, PS5 Pro is re being revealed. Uh, Spider-Man is one of the most well-sold games for PlayStation at the current moment. Like, it skyrocket sales. So, if we do get anything, I feel like we could get an update with some free DLC suits and things like that for the release of the PS5 Pro. Um, realistically, that's all I expect. I don't expect any extra DLCs in terms of, like, story content. I just expect some suits and things like that and some general fixes personally that's what i'd like to see and that's what i expect and the biggest thing i really want for marvel spider-man 2 is a pc port 
I will never not say that PC port and when I say PC port I mean official because that opens up a whole new world of mods and infinite content that people can create. I mean, Web of Shadows still gets mods that people watch on YouTube. So there's Marvel Spider-Man Remastered and Miles Morales. So that's us as fans. That's what we want. So fingers crossed that we get something cool for, you know, the Summer Game Fest or Game Awards show and uh, the PlayStation 30th anniversary because that's pretty huge. 30 years of PlayStation is pretty wild. So let me know what you guys think of Marvel Spider-Man 2 in general. Do you think the LC is going to happen? Do you not expect it to happen? What would you like to see? Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you for supporting the channel. Watching another video here. I've been doing a lot of Ben 10 content on the channel and a bunch of different games as well. Of course, I still do Spider-Man. That's my boy, but I also like to kind of... Um, you know explore different avenues and things like that with content and different superheroes because man there's so many char characters and things i enjoy and recently i've been really into transformers as well so let me know if you want to see that and again thank you so much for your support i really appreciate all of you but have a wonderful day peace